Hey what's on guys, so I've got some exciting news regarding Rocksteady Studios, the company behind Batman Arkham series. So recently they announced on Twitter that they're working on a new IP which is supposed to blow everybody's minds. So before we get all hyped that this is some kind of new Batman game, keep in mind that Rocksteady said that they are done with the Arkham series. Pretty much Arkham Knight was the last Batman game that they would work on. I, I want to clarify a few things and say that the past few videos that I had based on the Damian Wayne concept and then the Court of Owls concept, this video is completely separate from those two videos. So I just want to clarify that before anybody jumps to any kind of conclusion. Now whether or not this is a DC Comics game, we'll just have to wait and see. It's a good chance this is a DC Comics game just because of, you know, the, the sales that they've had out of all of these Batman games combined, just millions of copies, and that's pretty much what they're known for. They could be working on something completely different, but I'm really thinking that it probably is a DC Comics based game. I'm going to expand on that theory and let's say that they're working on a Flash game. So if you guys don't know, a Flash game was actually conceptualized and prototyped for the Xbox 360 and PS3 almost a decade ago. And sadly the project was halted and eventually killed off. I think it was something due to too many disagreements between how how to like proceed with the overall concept of the game. I know they had a lot of like good prototypes out and some of it was it looked really good even though it was just a really simple prototype, but that did eventually get killed off. So let's say that this Rocksteady's new Flash game could possibly be you know, maybe a continuation of where that left off. Obviously, you know, we're not with the same uh, development studio and whatnot. So I'm going to expand a little bit further on that. And let's say that this is an open world flash game set in Central City. And it's based around quite a few different famous flash comics. Because as you know, Rock City Studios loves to like pull from a lot of famous comics. Not a completely from that one comic, but a lot of different comics here and there. And then they combine it all together in just one game that's possibly what the flash game could be doing so i think some good comics that they could take from flashpoint obviously that's a really popular one flash of two worlds so you'd have jay garrick introduced into the game and then crisis on infinite earths just to name a few with that said obviously you know if they pick from these comics and it could definitely have a strong rogues gallery so that rogues gallery could include villains like reverse flash captain cold Grodd, Black Racer, and Mirror Master, just to name a few. And then I think, obviously, you know, the, if the game is going to be Central City based open world, which it probably will be, then I think it'd be cool to have multiple speedsters. Because Central City is going to be very different from Arkham City or even what Gotham City did with the three islands. So I think, with that said, you know, that can introduce a lot of different mechanics and a lot of different things to do. With these characters and i think one good starting point is to have multiple characters and have multiple storylines for each of these characters and then have them all kind of just intertwined together at some point maybe halfway through the story or like after a certain point each of these characters eventually do connect so with that said you know we can have obviously flash so the barry allen flash and then kid flash so wally west and then impulse uh, bart allen and then jay garrick and then have all of their stories just combined together through probably like time travel or the speed force and whatever way that you want to connect these two things together. And then on top of that, I think if you want to add to add more layers to these characters, we can have their human half of their story collide with their superhero half of their of their story. And you see how that plays out. And also, you know, to maybe make the environment more interesting because Central City at the end of the day is just a simple city. If we're going to be pulling things from comics like Flashpoint, then I think we can have alternate versions of this environment. So you can have like maybe more like a post-apocalyptic kind of central city at some point that you have to visit in the future. And then maybe another completely different environment on a different Earth with, you know, Flash of Two Worlds. And then the same applies to Crisis of Infinite Earths and so on. So I think that'd be a really nice change instead of the generic just one map and then three pieces to one map i think you can have like three or four different maps and then have them kind of combine in whatever way that the devs wanted to i'm not going to touch too much on mechanics of the game but obviously you know i think each character could have their own mechanics and then as an uh, add-on to that maybe as an upgrade players could swap out speedster abilities for each character 
And with that said, you know, you can you maybe you can have like an RPG system where you have like a leveling system. So maybe let's say you know Jay Garrick's been around longer, so he may he might have more experience and more different kind of attacks and mechanics that Barry might not have yet, or maybe Barry has that Wally might not have. And then you know maybe once one of these characters reaches like let's say Barry reaches level ten or something, and Jay Garrick's at like level twenty, then maybe you know Barry is able to you know maybe replicate some of Jay Garrick's abilities and so forth something something like that just just an idea right now but something like that would be really cool to see just swapping out different mechanics between different characters but yeah this is just a really simple rough concept that I, I just thought up real quick if Rock City is working on a flash game whatever they're planning on releasing or even announcing I think the best place we can see anything about this would be WonderCon is literally just a few days away so WonderCon would be a really good place to start any kind of really small announcement there would be good. But I think the major place that they could release anything is E3. You know, they've been really quiet. The last major thing that they worked on was uh, Batman Arkham VR, which was, I think, somewhere in 2016. So that's that's a while back. It's almost two years back now. So they should be announcing something this year. And if not at E3, then at San Diego Comic Con. That's definitely the two major places where they could announce anything. And then if not there, then maybe maybe at PAX but that seems a little bit less likely play uh, the PSX or the game awards would be the next few places where they could announce anything but that's all I've got for you guys just a really quick prediction on what Rock City's next possible game could be so let me know what you guys think in the comments down below do you think that they're working on a flash game do you think that they're working on some other DC comics game like Superman or Justice League or do you think they're working on something completely different from DC. So let me know in the comments down below. Also, if you enjoyed the video, then smack the like button is always appreciated. And if you want to see more predictions of uh, games that could be releasing in the future or superhero content like this, then hit subscribe to see more. I'll see you guys next time.